Hello everyone, welcome to the World Drone Market Channel. Today we bring you a tutorial on flashing the Skydroid H16. This video will be divided into three parts, installing ADB, upgrading the remote controller, and upgrading the air unit. Let's get started. Installing ADB. First, extract the firmware needed for flashing the H16 onto the C drive. Next, install the ADB Android driver by extracting the ADB tools.rar package. Once extracted, follow these steps. Right-click, My Computer, click, Properties, select, Advanced System Settings, on the left. In the new pop-up window, click, Environment Variables, under User Variables. Find Path. Double-click to open it, then click, New, and, Browse, to find the extracted ADB Tools directory, see, ADB Tools Platform Tools. Click OK. Then, in the system variables, find Flash Boot and click Browse to find the extracted ADB Tools directory C. ADB Tools Platform Tools ADB.exe, double click to confirm. Click OK for all subsequent operations. After installing the ADB Android driver, Enter the command ADB and press the Enter key. If it appears as shown in the picture below, it indicates that the configuration was successful. Upgrading the remote controller. First, turn off the remote controller. Press and hold the B button, then press the power button for one second and release it. The screen will display fast boot mode, then release the B button. Connect the computer to the remote controller's Type C interface using a data cable. On the computer, extract the upgrade firmware package for the remote controller. Locate H16 GCS flash all.bat or flash all except data storage.bat. Open the command line window, enter CMD, click OK and drag the file into the command prompt, then press enter. If all steps are correct, the flashing process should take about 2 to 3 minutes. Once finished, the remote controller will reboot. Note that flashing will erase all data, so ensure you have backups.
upgrading the air unit. With the air unit powered off, press and hold the set button using tweezers. Then power the air unit separately. And connect it to the computer's Type-C interface until the computer detects new hardware. Note that Type-C power alone cannot start the receiver, it requires POW power. Next, extract the UAVV file and locate flash all.bat or flash all except data storage.bat. Open the command line window, enter CMD. Click OK. And drag the file into the command prompt, then press Enter. If all steps are correct, the flashing process should take about 2 to 3 minutes, after which the receiver will shut down. Once the system upgrade is complete, if you chose not to save user data, you will need to repair the devices. To repair, power the receiver, press and hold the set button for 2 seconds until the white light flashes, indicating it is in pairing mode. Turn on the remote controller, open the H16 assistant and click frequency matching to complete the process. Okay, that's a wrap. Thank you for watching. For more content, please follow us. See you in the next video.